Yeah. Hold up. Listen. But we right here at the Cornucopia, where we used to be the Cornucopia. A lot of hip hop shows were here. Schooly D performed here again. Uh, even even in the nineties, we performed here. Different people. But um, the last show that I came to a hip hop show was actually in two thousand. I want to say sixteen, and I was actually with YZ. He Lux, cause Lux, he was he actually came out right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he actually came out where everybody want to be a gangster in 96, right? 94, okay. Because this is during the time, 95, right? 94, 95. This was at the time when Big Tab Edwards had a magazine called The Buzz. And he had put out um, Red Bull. And what's the other artist he said? Ruffian, Italian Ruffian, I knew about him. And he would put out this hip hop magazine in 96 So all the people was doing their stuff independent Lux was one of them Lux had put out Everybody Wanna Be A Gangster That was the one And then what's the other song he had? Boombox And this was put out by his label I believe Right? He he was part of putting out his own records um, And he decided to do that because he was connected He was connected with YZ He was connected with Cool C He was connected with uh, Schooly D and MC Breeze And the last show that I went to was EST uh, Lux And uh, who was it? MC Breeze uh, Schooly D and YZ and they did the show right here at the uh, Cornucopia. And they performed there plenty of times in their heyday. They performed there with three times dope. Had they joint Act Nicholas One. Listen to the lyrics in those songs. And you hear our slang. You hear all our styles. But Lux put out his joint in 95, 94, 95. 94-95 That's the era in which I came up Those are the times we came up But we were following the blueprint Of these guys that were performing at the Cornucopia Another major spot In Philly hip hop history You know what I'm saying So this is just one of the joints we stepping upon And now in 96 A lot of these rappers Are, are being independent now There's no internet there's no TikTok, there's no Instagram, but we are starting to come real heavy. Just across the street, we had the um, the Woodstock, the Hip Hop Philly Woodstock was across the street. And this is just one of the spots we hit. So, we're going to keep moving and we're going to go to the Capitol. I'm going to show you what the Capitol was about. Peace, we out. I'm ready, I'm on. Yeah, so another spot, one, two, one, two, another spot right there, you see the Capitol, the Capitol is a major spot in our hip-hop uh, journey through West Philly and the underground scene, uh, because the Capitol was a, was a movie theater like many other movie theaters that throughout Philly, but why is that so important, because the Capitol Movie Theater is where a lot of B-Boys during the 80s and probably prior to that 60s, but I'm talking about hip-hop. Uh, Wu-Tang is not the only one that wanted to utilize karate in their, their hip-hop. Also, Philly, a lot of Philly rappers, but you know, we didn't get the record deals right away from all the majors, even though we did have pop art records. But why am I talking about the Capitol? Because the Capitol is where a lot of the karate flicks, you can go in there for cheap prices, stay in there all day, karate flicks, uh, the uh, horror flicks. Uh, the black exploitation films A lot of b-boys back in the 80's We gathered right here That's a major spot on uh, Our hip hop journey You know what I'm saying And I was even told uh, uh, This is I was told I gotta get proof But Right in that building is where b-boys would stand and dance and jam and they would be into like uh, They would do b-boying and hip-hop and stuff like that right in those same parts I mean fights broke out stuff like that, but It was also a b-boy street hip-hop Philly uh, Sacred ground. Let's take a closer look because now it's uh, It's a beauty discount store, but just walking down West Philly 
walking down West Philly and this is where cats would come to the Capitol building so uh, you go in here and get some tickets but this is sacred ground right here you know what I'm saying this is like just like a lot of a lot of uh, Philly buildings this was another one. This is where cats came to the movie theaters. You know what I'm saying? So this is part of hip hop in West Philly. You know what I'm saying? The Capitol building is major. You know what I'm saying? So and like I said, B boys would stand in the corner. Am I right? And people would show up. They dance stuff sometimes. Is that true? Say it again. Oh no 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 no. Go ahead. When the movies were white like, three bitches on one day. So they were I guess you say in the mansion until the next time was right there and they used the real stuff. So basically people during the intermission would go to the front of the theater and it was a lot of room there. We start popping and free dance and stuff. Okay. And that makes like that. sense. Yeah. Uh, what he's saying basically is like in between the films, you know, they have intermission, then a lot of the b-boys would come here and start breaking, popping, and doing stuff like that right inside these doors right here. Now it's a it's a it's a female uh, 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 you know a braid shop where you get your extensions and stuff like that. But this is an important part of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So now we got all the you know. So you see, you know, I got all the. But it's still a sacred space. You know what I'm saying? But now this is where women come and get their they hair tossed and they get the correct extensions and uh, all of that. But prior to that, this was a movie theater and this is where hip hop was was happening in this area too. Because catch b-boys would be popping and locking and all kinds of stuff right here. And this in the 80s. Uh, so yeah, this is a sacred place on 52nd Street. And then we had King James. Where was King James? Right there? Nah, it was the next block yeah. So King James was a record store That you would go to And get your latest uh, PSK records Or even in the 90's We had records uh, there So that's where you would go uh, To get your records right there And just up the street We had Tough Crew Office The Tough Crew um, Two Tough Records Right Now Two Tough Records Was the same label That um that uh, uh, Tough Crew was on And uh, no So Deaf My fault This was the first So Deaf Not Jermaine Dupree uh, It was called So Deaf uh, Records And it was right up there On Gerard Cool Keith Crown Rulers Big Daddy Kane was managed by uh, uh, Tony Mitchell The Godfather got things all hemmed up On uh, the Tough Crew's album And that was just right up there on, on Gerard they had their office right up there. So see how sacred these areas are? We got 52nd, 52nd Street, 52nd right here. And then you got 52nd and Todd. And then right up the street, PSK, Scooby D, right up the street. So these are major spots right here in West Philly. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't even go to the other spaces and places. All right, peace. Hold on, hold on. You mind saying that on camera? You want to get in? All right, we got a native right here that's from West Philly. All right, so we we from the hip-hop era in the 80s. So we talking about the Capitol. Right, the theater. The theater, and then you told us some major history right now at King James. King James Record Shop is down there located on 52nd Street between Poplar and um, Gerard. And now it's a... Uh, a 24-hour convenience store. Hey, that's so. So, real quick, what what era in music do you come from? What's your main? Well, uh, first of all, hold up. Before that, tell the people who you are. My name is Brian Hex. Word. And um, I was born in 1960. Okay. Oh, word. We got some real true history about to happen there. <laughs> and my era comes from the 70s, 80s. And 90s. And who were some of the groups that you were frequent, like buying records and stuff of that nature? Stylistics, the Delphonics, the Dells. Um, then when I got off into rap per se, or let's say more R&B, 
was like Marvin Gaye, mm. Stylistics, I like Stylics, but the um, Isley Brothers, mm. stuff like that. And um, basically, um, I was a Kumo D fan, and um, wow. Um, let me see, uh, Uncle L. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, I can't forget Public Enemy. Of course, PE. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Public Enemy, major. They were major here in uh, Philadelphia too. But go ahead, keep going. Right. Um, let's let's see. Um, and also like um, Missy Elliott. Oh, no doubt, she created. I appreciate. It. Say your name one more time, boss. Brian. Everybody call me bro. All right, that's bro right there. A native from. Peace, bro. A native from uh, West Philly, and he, you know, when you say the groups that he just named, a lot of them are right. Some of them cats are right here in Philly as well. You know what I'm saying? So you got a native. He frequent the uh, King James and stuff of that nature. Uh, so we that history is deep. The history is real deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hold up. Listen. Listen, yo. Yo. What up? What's, what's, what's. A lot of times it seems that I'm optimistic. It's not that I'm different. Just want to be around things and show that it's terrific. Listen, when I was young, I used to be the only Muslim. Want to be around boys that tripped off fun like I did. Judge them, shoot, I ain't want to get slid. We was all kids. 42nd and Ogden, that's where I live. Fresh Prince was on top where the moms and pops had good jobs and shop for good clothes. West Philly bad joints probably was hoes. I don't know. I just said, how you doing? Can I talk? you for a second, my boys is vexing. She like, you got a pen? I keep my weapon. I shut them all up. I called the rub. She in the jacks. I get respect. Cause I walk by a gang of boys. In LA, y'all call them sex. I put a hickey on her neck. Got a grind. Her pop showed up and whipped her behind. Damn, when she cried, she looked fine. The 80s was amazing. People was getting stabbed cause their windmills were crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's West Philly in the 80s, boy. Get a history Listen for your ba 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 baby boys. That's 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 that